I'm diving into treacherous waters, but we're gonna talk about WordPress versus Wix today. And if you're already using Wix, I'm not trying to convince you to get off of it. You can keep using it, but this is for people who are trying to decide between the two platforms. If you're new here, my name's Jess. I create videos for business owners like you to help you save time and look good online. And today we are diving into WordPress or Wix. I've made some other videos about Wix and I've made plenty of videos about WordPress. So I'm going to kind of compare the two platforms and you can decide which one is best for you. Start first with price. Between the two platforms, pricing is pretty similar. Uh, it depends on if you're really looking at the basic Wix versus the e-commerce business plan of Wix, and it depends on what WordPress hosting package you would be using. Now, I am talking specifically again about WordPress.org in this video, not .com. So keep that in mind, but they are pretty similar. There's a few dollars difference, uh, depending on, again, which plan in Wix and which hosting package, but it's not a huge difference. The only exception being if you are doing e-commerce Wix, like if you want to set up a store or take payments through Wix, then you are going to be paying a little more per month for that plan on Wix. And we'll be talking about functionality and plugins a little bit later, but you can use WooCommerce on WordPress to set up a store and take payments and that's free. So already WordPress would be cheaper. Now, the next thing that people are really worried about is the ease of using the platform. Wix is very drag and drop. So a lot of people find it to be much, much easier WordPress, a lot of people mistakenly think you have to know how to code to use WordPress. And that's not true. It is true to an extent if you want a lot of customizations, if you really want a fancy design, but there are plenty of drag and drop templates, free templates on WordPress, um, or the template that I use, which is not free, but a WordPress template I use, which is Divi, which is drag and drop, doesn't require coding. So, I would lean towards Wix being a little bit more intuitive, but you do not need to know how to code to be on WordPress. If you just need a very basic site, you do not need to know how to code on WordPress. <laughs> there are things you can code if you want really specific functionality, but for most people, if you just want a basic, nice, clean website, you don't need to know how to code. And speaking of templates, both Wix and WordPress come with free templates included. So you don't have to buy a template for WordPress. Most people do buy templates when they set up a WordPress website or have someone design a WordPress website. And that's because the free templates can be a little boring. <laughs> Um, same with Wix, uh, but it again, depends on what are you looking for? What kind of design do you want? Um, how fancy of a design do you want? Now I said a little bit ago, we would talk about plugins or as Wix calls them apps. So let's talk a little bit about that. This is one area that there's a big difference between the platforms. Wix has 250 plus apps available to their users. WordPress has over 50 to 60,000 plugins and more added all the time in their plugin directory. Now, not to say all of those are good or all of them are up to date, obviously, but a large majority are very useful. There's a ton of functionality in WordPress. And honestly, that is one of the reasons that so many people use WordPress is because the functionality is endless, basically. <laughs> Um, now, again, if you want something very basic, you may not need all that functionality, but you have to think about what do I need now? What do I need five years from now? What are my goals? Am I going to want a membership, a course, et cetera? What kind of system do I want to use for those future things? Now, earlier I mentioned the store options, e-commerce options in each platform. The e-commerce option, the most popular one is WooCommerce in WordPress. It's free. There are some like paid extensions you can get for really fancy things in WooCommerce, but there's a lot of functionality in WooCommerce, just the free version. And that is one thing that really, again, is that added functionality in WordPress that Wix does not have. So even if you want to sell digital or physical products, WordPress is where I would send you. Another thing to think about in terms of plugins is SEO. That's 
a big sticking point for people <laughs> that they want to make sure their business shows up in Google search. So Wix does have SEO functionality. You can optimize your site for search, but WordPress has more plugins that do SEO and gives you even deeper SEO functionality. Like they have lots more backend things that Wix just does not have in their basic SEO. So again, that would come down to how much do you care about SEO? How much energy are you gonna put into it? And that kind of thing. Do you really want all this extra SEO benefit or are you okay with just the basic optimization? And then the last thing that I wanna point out is being able to move your content between, like on these platforms. So WordPress, if you wanna change to a new host, like you've found a better host, the pricing has changed, you're handing your site over to someone else to manage, very, very easy to move your site. Uh, you can move hosts in an hour. <laughs> it's very easy, uh, just a few clicks of a button. Uh, Wix, on the other hand, you cannot move your content. There is not a way to just click export. There is literally an export button in WordPress and you just download this little file and that's, that's your site. Wix does not let you do that. So if you have 300 blog posts on your Wix website, have fun moving them <laughs> manually because they do not give you an export option. And that honestly is one of the main reasons I do not recommend Wix for business owners or bloggers. Even if you're not a business owner, but you wanna blog, I do not recommend it because you cannot move that content elsewhere. They're basically locking you into their platform. So those are the main things that people usually wonder about. If you have questions, let me know down in the comments. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up and I will see y'all next time.